We're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. This time we're doing the new knives from SOG, Real Steel, Best Tech, and Condor. Wow. Think about it, July, we're still on new knives. Yeah. I think we need to change things up a little bit, don't you think? I was thinking that too. However, I'm not sure what should we do. I mean, we could come in, you know, wrapping. Oh, I see what you're doing there. We'll pass on that. Oh, or, that's or, a good idea. Other, good idea. Other wrapping, you know, you're wrapping gifts. But that was stupid. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I thought you wanted me to. Oh, right. yes, the. No, no, sorry. Come on. <laughs> I don't have my gold chain with me. <sighs> Darn. I, guess I got I two chains. Can't do that one. One for each of you. Your mama give you that chain? Mama give me that chain. <laughs> mama give me that chain. Oh, or we could, like, spin around and, like, come in like this. Breaking news story. You know? I think that one. We're back <laughs> with today's news coming dun, dun, dun. at you. All right. You think that one? Mm, I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. And we are back, fellow knife enthusiasts, with the newest and hottest blades. <laughs> Straight off the proverbial presses this week, they're from SOG. Real Steel, Best Tech, and Condor. That was good. <laughs> I know. Okay, if you guys have any suggestions about how we should open the show, please leave comments down below. It's a little boring. All right, Sometimes. so the first knife mm -hmm. on the table this week is... The SOG Pentagon XR. Nice job. This carry comes in OD green version and a black. It is 8.38 inch overall with a 3.6 inch, I'm gonna go slowly, Cryo CTS HXP, sounds like a Cadillac, steel straight edge spare term. point blade. Like XP. Oh, yeah. yeah. With a black titanium nitride, nitride, nitride finish. Wow, which allows for a high level of hardness and corrosion resistance. One can deploy the blade through the use of a thumb stud, flipper stud, or simply flicking it out the blade after depressing the button. I'm not gonna show all for Sog's show the patented flipper. XR lock, which is slowly becoming one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. That's great. What does Sog say about this knife, Jewel? According to Sog, it's able to withstand fifteen hundred pounds of force. 1,500 pounds. Fresh your guys' memories. I know we've said that before, but... 1,500 pounds. You know, when you say 1,500 pounds, it reminds me of our giveaway. Does it? Remember our old one? And it reminds me of... You know, I really can't think of anything right now. Is that she, weighs... Is she 1,500 pounds? Who? <laughs> wow, that was frightening. You put it... Frightening. Don't ever... Frightening. Do ah. that to someone. This, oh my gosh. He had, his claws were immense. I have to go. You ready? With this. Yes. This handle is black G10 and sports a black reversible clip mount. I left the little plastic. For left or right carry. That's nice. It's designed for single handed ambidextrous use. And it's only $174.98. AtlanticKnife.com and I got that one. See, look. So you see what happened there? You didn't like, you didn't take back? Yeah, it's not as frightening. I didn't take back from the other one either. No, I did. So, you first, what do you think? I think as soon as I walk in the door, I do the same. Oh, you made about the knife. Yes, um, the I'm knife. telling you, the XR locks, they're just tossing them out here one after the another. The XR series. Look at that. I mean, that is just so nice. Yeah. I like it. Great. I like it. And you know what I noticed? I can do this one. In my thumb. Wow, well before you couldn't get it open, remember? Oh, you want to go that route, huh? Let me be careful. I don't care, you could tell me if nah, you That's alright. Because unlike you, I'm not ashamed. Why it's don't knives. you tell us knives, about knives. the... Uh... Okay. What do I like about this? Mm -hmm. hmm. I used to like it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's alright. I like the pivot lock and I like the spear point blade. I think it's more of like a heavy duty EDC alternative, I mean, to a regular pocket knife. 
it's not going to break on you while you're using it, obviously. I mean, we, he was messing it before the show. And he's afraid he's going to cut himself. Because, <laughs> let's just say, it cuts. Um, it's, it's good on jimping, you know, on both the top of the handle and the back of the handle. Allowing for good grip, you know, when you're using it. Pocket clip's a bit small, mm -hmm. but I think it works because they're all the same size, so... It's not a huge issue. I think it's a good knife all around. So. All right, along with the SOG Vision XR. Ah. Are you sensing a pattern? Pattern. Are you picking up what we're laying down? I'm smelling what you're cooking. <laughs> Grits. You can say that again. Oh, fat lady all right. Things. The Vision you XR all right. here. It also comes in two versions. One partially serrated, the other not. Imagine that. Eight inches overall with a 3.36 straight edge blade made of CTS HXP with a black titanium nitride coating. <laughs> In Tanto style with some jimping and a band aid on the side. You proud of that? What? Which sets it apart from the crowd. Mm -hmm. This blade can be deployed through the means as the same. The same means as the Pentagon. What did you do to this knife? I didn't do it. You did do something this to this knife. This knife is a nice knife. And it features the See patented it Watch it wiggle. SOG XR pivot lock. You know what? They should have me doing a commercial that I do nothing but this for 30 seconds. No music, nothing, just... No, nothing. It's great. Just that. Great. And a reversible pocket clip for left and right hand carry. Can't beat that, can you? I'm not lying, you're not lying. And your favorite is. Lives. I can't say the word and anymore without and, and drawing it out. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like the one with the Tonto blade, the Tonto mm -hmm. cut. I mean, I wouldn't mind having either. What about you? Tanto, definitely. Uh, Tanto. Yes. Tanto. 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 <laughs> okay. If it cuts, I'm good. Uh, okay. Next is the real steel. How you say it? Akuma? I did not flip that correctly. Akuma. Yeah. That's what I had it as, so. There you go. Snaps to attention. Uh, in one word, I have to say this knife's interesting. It is a very different uh, blade for them. And they did used it to is. do some stuff similar to this years ago, and I'm kind of glad they are doing this. But let's get to it. So, uh, I mean, it's got a G10 handle, mm -hmm. which is not a norm for them and to stray even farther from the real steel path it's got orange colored liners which is very unusual for them to do something like that um then there's also a small back flipper almost recessed if you guys will but there it is works just fine there's also a reversible thumb stud you can take it off and put it on the other side there and a thumb hole for opening kind of i mean if you larger hands yeah. yeah. Maybe so. not a lady, but yeah. Lady. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that. So if the yes. back flipper doesn't work for you guys, you have other options. This line of lock is also eight and a half inches overall with a 3.7 inch Bowler K110 steel blade. That's going to be the new steel that people are using. No jimping, which is a little disappointing, I it have to say. It is a little. But there is a discreet barrel spacer, lanyard hole. Ooh. And a deep carry pocket clip, which is pretty much becoming standard. And this whole enchilada was designed by a guy named Ivan. <laughs> Not going to attempt his last name. Nah. Just say Abregnius. Just say really All right. quick. Abregnius. Okay. There you go. Yes. The name of itself was inspired by <clears throat> a character in Street Fighter, Akuma. Yeah. Not sure exactly how they got from point A to point B. Because if you were to look at this knife, I, I don't... Nothing about it says Street Fighter or reminds well, me Chen of Lee a Street... Chen Li would have been kind of silly now, wouldn't it? Really? I think the, what, I mean, about, what about your one that you were like, Ryu. that guy is bad? Hey, everybody out there, who's your favorite Street Fighter? Oh I mean, it's, it's Ryu. Maybe Ken. Ken? Yeah. How can you be a Street Fighter and have the name Ken? Please. Well, look. And in this corner, it's Ryu. Let me tell you, do, 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 in 8 do, 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 bit, do, 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 nobody could beat Ryu. Do, do, do. But hold on. I gotta say. And in this corner, Ken. This also comes in both black G10 
and green G10. That's great. Both have the the orange liners. And I wondering. will tell you also that I did notice that the blade is pretty thick on the back side, which kind of it reminds is. me, I like their fixed blades a lot, especially their bushcraft knives. Yeah. Because the blades are nice and thick on the back. I mean, it should be durable. They should have added a little jimping, I think. Yeah, well, they're not big on jimping. I know, but I think that would have just made it perfect. It's a little jimping. In I don't know. I really like this knife, so, you know. So, obviously, what do you think of this real steel? You like it. Of course. That sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah, I haven't, we haven't even got to really use it yet to see what the K110 steel is like. Yeah. Um, but, orange liners, I kind of like the accent to that. It's very reminiscent of the tactical knife that you would find with tops, even though, you know, that's the only comparison. Yeah. Wouldn't mind carrying this knife. And it's only 77 bucks at alandknife.com. Here, here. Well, I'll bring that. Dilly, dilly. Dilly. Yeah, I was getting there. I was it always getting comes there. next. Don't. So. Don't. The next knife. You know what I'm talking about. On the table is the Condor Krakatoa. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you're entered to win the Steel Wheel Roamer. Ta da! Mmm, that's nice. I know. Along with staying connected to your all time favorite knife and outdoor gear source. Me. me. Shh. Taking my lines. Yeah, that wasn't written. Also, it was understood. Make sure to answer the AK trivia question on the Atlantic Knife blog. You find that by going to the home page, top left corner, where it says home. Click it. It's a drop down menu. Wow. Very bottom is the blog. I think I found out what I need my You'll be entered to win the SOG Terminus XR, which go. is the XR lock that started it all. Well loved of the XRs, mm. let me tell you. All right, so back to the Krakatoa. It okay. comes in three different versions. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Desert. I'm assuming that's like desert tan. Uh, like a deserty orange kind of. Really? I saw it. Mm. Yeah. Walnut and army green. Wow. He air quoted because it doesn't really look green. The uh, girl that does the um, inventory descriptions is like, I need to see this knife. And we get in, she's like, this is not green. Not green. And that piece really... That happens. Drives her crazy, so it's more of gray or a black than anything. My favorite is probably going to be the walnut version on this because it has their logo like burned into the handle. I like that. I do too, and it's not on the other two, unfortunately. They have like micarta scales, I believe. But you know, I'm going to show you guys the handle on this one is dual sided, which is a real curveball from Condor. They don't usually do dual sided uh, or folders. Folders, exactly, because that's more unusual. This is their second or third They're one. predominantly a fixed blade company. Yes, predominantly survival knives I mean, and machetes. I mean, they have a couple of folding knives. And axes. What, what one did we do? Oh, no. I can't remember the name of it. was of a few it. weeks ago. It's yeah. over in that box. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is a big step in like the everyday pocket knife carry direction for them. Mm -hmm. What do you like about it? Well, I like it because it's a Joe Flowers design. Oh. I like his stuff, along with Matt Graham. Oh. Okay, so. Can't forget Matt Graham. We know. Big Matt leaf. Graham Cracker. Big leaf. Big leaf. Anyways, this frame lock with a patent pending. No doubt it is. <laughs> is 8 inches overall with a 3.5 inch 1095 high carbon steel drop point blade with a natural finish and a plain edge, which is deployed through the thumb stud. So. Well, that's a dual thumb stud too. Can't yeah. beat that. There are barrel spacers. Jimping on the back handle, pocket clip, which can be used for tip up mm -hmm. or, wait for it, tip down right hand carry. What? Sorry, left handers. Oh. The other versions have a micarta front scale, mm -hmm. while this one has a walnut. And there's also, they all have a stainless steel back, right? Yes. Yes. So, I think this one's probably my favorite on the table. Well, Maybe maybe the last one once we get there. And this knife is only eighty four ninety eight from no one else but AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah, I think we're gonna quit calling this a shameless plug. Just call it a plug. It hisses right out there in your face, isn't it? I can't ain't nobody get trying to hide it. I ain't got shame. Go. Look at there. 
Nice. Wow. You know what we should do? We should put that over here. Mm -hmm. I want to say this one. It had to be open though. Kind of like this. Be careful. We just. <laughs> you just put a hole in her eye. No, actually, what I did was just break her glasses. See. Uh huh. Well, she had a scratch on them, so I was just trying to. Put... Oh, yeah. touch it up there. You want my bandaid to there we patch go. that up? That's got blood on it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Something else gonna have blood on it in a second. Oh. Okay, so final knife on the table. Yep. I changed my mind. It's the reticulin. What in medium? You can't at all tell what your thoughts are, can we? <sighs> Ignoring your negativity. That's medium. I'm going. Yes, it's the medium one. That's their new version of the reticulin. Is a is the medium one. So I'm gonna do the specs on this. Overall, this is the gray one. By the way, if you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> This frame lock is 8 inches overall with a CPM S35VN modified Warncliffe blade, which is deployed via the gemmed flipper stud. Look at that. Yes. Also comes in at about 59, 60, call it 61 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. Has a flat grind, two tone satin and stone wash finish. It's about right 3 there. inches long, while the handle, clip, and backspacer are all made of the infamous 6AL. For V titanium. It also comes with a pouch and cleaning the best cloth. Part. What? What no. about the best part? Shh. And the best can part. Can it? Can it? Can it? Best part. There are twelve different versions of this knife. Yeah. It, it now they are right now in just the smaller version, the five inch. But I've noticed that there's like two or three different of this one. Mm-hmm. The medium one. Damascus. Yeah, the smaller, the smaller versions, the five inch, mm -hmm. this one's the eight inch, the five inch ones, some come with the S35VM blades and some come with the Mascus steel blades. So all was designed by Elijah Isham. Yeah, looks like they're riding Isham's uh, <laughs> design here like a horse. If you could tell. It's got his thing on it. Yes, right in little Isham right there. Oh yeah, I see. Reminds me a, a great deal of the uh, the abtruse that he designed with mm -hmm. just him, though. Okay. Sorry. Go, <coughs> what do I on. think? Yes. Well, I don't think I've played with this one yet. Well, mm, I think you played a little with it. No, I hit it with something else. Well, I like the handle design. Mm hmm Is there going to be a larger one? I don't I remember don't buying a larger know. one. There's just the medium and the small. I don't know if they're going to come with a, a larger one. Cause this well, one, you know, if you have medium and small, you're probably going to have a large. Yeah, but they already have a somewhat large tag attached to this one. And a my handle, my hand one. fits on it. They, they have no shame of going 272. Uh, <laughs> neither does we. No shame. Well, my hand fits nicely in this one, so I like this little knife. Um, titanium S35DN. Mm -hmm. I like the blade shape. Me too, me too. I would go with... Uh, I like it. It's very I, centered. I like this one more than the ab, the ab, uh, But like you struce. said, he has several designs similar to this too. So. True. But I also think I prefer the medium on this. But I bet you would, yeah. The smaller versions, there are lots. I mean lots. There's you guys will see it right here. I mean, come on. At lots eight inches they should have from. called it large. And they went bigger, like a nine or a ten, they should have put XL. Oh, yeah. And then the other one should have been medium at six and a half because standard knife would be seven and a half to eight anyway. I think the it's only buy. five inch. What is the other the one? The small one. Oh. Yeah, so they three inches longer on this one. Like a hummingbird. Mm -hmm. hmm. But tons of options, guys, in the smaller version. So that's a plus in my opinion. In her opinion? <laughs> that's what they want, isn't it? Your opinion? You know what? Gotta rise above it. Gotta rise above it. Harness good energy, block out the bad. Harness good, block bad. You gotta do All it like this. this. I'm blocking you. Harness You're happy. the bad energy. Block, harness. Harness good, block bad. <coughs> Send the ball to its home. Anyways, I think the reticulin is up there with some of my favorites. <laughs> so badly want to scream. You can't see that <laughs> on know. the air. I know. All right, go ahead. If it's well in the hand, the knife. Too crispy would just roll on the floor, <laughs> yes, dying. Yes, he would. And it's got high quality materials, so you really can't go wrong with having this knife in your collection. Let it go, man. Tomorrow, Let it go. I'm gonna get off the phone and I'm gonna scream it out. <laughs> and it's only two twenty-one from AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I can't speak any longer. Yeah, that's because you're still stuck. I uh, know. Don't say it. It's all right. All right. A little steep, um, but you guys do get free shipping, so overall a win. However, that does conclude this week's AK Blade episode. Sad. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way you're entered in the Steel Wheel Roamer giveaway. And ring the bell so you are always be a part of the inner circle, Greg. Circle. Circular. Like a carousel. It goes around. It's a circular. The flow. And privy to all the latest knife reviews, giveaways, mother-in-law jibes, and outdoor info we have to offer. By the way, I wanted to mention something to you. What? <laughs> the asterisk. The asterisk. All good things. No! God. He put an asterisk to sim symbolize when he was going to do my Instagram. You just suck. It's not bad <laughs> enough I got cut today and you didn't. All right. But no. Zero days on the job without an accident. You just have to steal it every single time. I think we were doing pretty good today. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, it's too Facebook, late. Pinterest, Reddit, and it. YouTube. That way you're part of an even larger circle that excludes C. You want to be the Bob Father? No, I don't want to be the Bob Father. You want to be in the circle of trust, Greg? I want to be the Godfather. So <coughs> it's the Bob Father. I don't want to be the Bob Father. All right. Let me get to my lines. Oh, you can't take what I was doing. And while you're doing that, make sure to answer the AK blog trivia question to be entered to win this beautiful... Sog Terminus with XR Lock. With that. I'm C. And this is. Joel. Just Joel. Jesus, you yelling at them. I was going to cut you Sorry. off. But <laughs> you know what? I'm going to cut and you off and cut my pinky in the process and, off. And we're signing off. That's great. <laughs>